benefits so store supplier goods at own warehouse so supplier goods at store at uh, customer place then uh, if need needed then material uh, then uh, take it uh, from that uh, stock so access goods at any time then uh, if uh, take the goods for usage time after that they will prepare the uh, they will submit the billing then after that we have to uh, release the payment then uh, return goods to supplier if uh, materials are uh, uh, over stock over stock are any you know, not sale for uh, not use not consumed or not sale that materials then we need we have to return to this material to customer supplier then uh, next key process flow covered uh, manage purchase orders we have to pre- we have to release purchase order for uh, uh initial stocks then after that we have to uh, we need then materials then we, uh, frequently we have to release uh, correspondingly purchase order then uh, sap tour is required uh, sap s4 hana then company roles involved in the process flow buyer then purchasing manager warehouse clerk then accounts payable account accountant then this is the sco- uh, consignment document uh, st- uh, scope document then next is the uh, consumable purchasing uh, process flow diagram so request for the consignment material for the request uh, team then uh, purchase order for uh, consignment uh, consignment material uh, then uh, that uh, purchase order is uh, uh, okay, uh, purchase order is um, okay then we have to uh, uh, get the approval process if uh, purchase order is not uh, not correct then update the purchase order Uh, after that uh, go for approval for uh, approval to purchasing manager then purchasing manager uh, give approval means then uh, print the purchase order to uh, print the purchase order then send to the vendor if uh, purchase order is uh, not approved that uh, uh, purchase uh, manager means uh, that uh, purchase, uh, by purchasing uh, purchase, uh, purchase approval stages so we again to go go to return process Uh, again update that purchase order then uh, again uh, send the purchase order to uh, purchase approval process then uh, this process to uh, again complete complete that uh, purchase approval then uh, uh, once purchase approval completed then uh, so print the purchase order and put uh, physical sign if ne- if vendor needed then uh, we have to put physical signs uh, physical sign signature then uh, that uh, physical sign uh, signed copies uh, Uh, sent to uh, scanned and sent to the uh, vendor by mail or uh, um, courier then uh, next sent to the uh, next vendor uh, uh, vendor uh, sent the materials so receiving material uh, receiving material at uh, duck so uh, vendor sent the materials then next uh, we have to uh, take goods receipt process then then after that goods received then uh, stock sto- stock updated by in uh, consignment stock then uh, updated consignment stock to we have to we need material then we have to take then goods receipt goods issue process then uh, print the gr slip then then that uh, pr slip is sent to the uh, vendor then next uh, payment process so that's it so sorry sir i have prepare one okay so what are the roles actually uh, what are the roles and could you explain about the role who will create the purchase requisition who will approve it yeah but i have missing for uh, requisitioner then buyer is uh, prepared for uh, purchase order mm-hmm. uh, then approval get approval from purchasing manager then mm-hmm. uh, material uh, goods uh, receipt uh, okay. process okay. so like, generally what happen buyer means so, you know they have all the transactions like uh, purchase requisition okay okay and uh, you know uh, rfq contract everything so you, if you want to so we need to convert this buyer role into two different roles okay okay sir okay okay so okay. purchase requisition there is one role and the purchase requisition approval is another role okay okay sir if uh, if, purchase, if purchase request is uh, received from that uh, user department only then only yeah user department means like it's it department or it might be the finance or it might be project uh, project site also they will or maintenance team also right yes 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 so either okay put a requisitioner there is a role called requisitioner or we yeah. can say yeah requisitioner then uh, department manager okay oh, approval okay or business unit manager or department manager or hod hr head of the department so anyone 
so okay. the tool has to be designed okay, so okay. then purchaser will have all the process okay then purchase manager have same thing like a uh, hod the same thing purchase manager okay so they will approve it then warehouse clerk so because yeah. w, uh, could you check uh, for grn process can be approve it so grn process suppose we do the goods receipt right Oh, yes, yes. So suppose that uh, let's say for the you know the buyer who create or maybe the department level okay. uh, person is going to create the uh, purchase requisition. Then it go for buyer is creating the purchase order. So okay. finally the vendor is you know perform the services. Okay. So in this case, um, uh, so how we can able to do the approval process? Suppose you know customer is requesting, so okay. we need to go for the approval process, right? Mm, yes. So in a standard SAP, do we have any approval process? Uh, we don't have sir okay so because if there is a expectation uh, you know we need to fulfill the requirements so we have to develop a gap on it gap on it okay so if gap means so we have to provide some logic also right so just think about that okay so how we can able to design the workflow for the so generally mm -hmm. workflow is for the purchase requisition rfq supplier quotation contract purchase order even service entry sheet also we have the approval process right Yes, yes, yes. So, but the same thing they are expecting. So simply they cannot uh, receive the material. Some uh, the department manager has to approve, so okay. that they can process the payment, right? Okay, okay. So simply they can. As a business point of view, I am telling. So you are receiving the material. So do you think your uh, management uh, they will do the payment directly? Oh uh, no, sir. So some of your department head has to approve it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So just think about that, and uh, you know. Okay. As a gap, you just specify because in the BBB creation point of view, you have to specify. You know, these are all the gaps, okay. and how we are going to address it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay sir. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sir, next uh, that uh, purchasing document. Can I explain? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Then I have prepared one uh, purchasing document. That is, this is the company code. Then plant. Then purchase organization. This one storage location, purchasing groups. Then material. Uh, i have prepared four materials then vendor i have prepared two vendors this is the create purchase so, this is for what process uh it's a uh, direct procurement process direct procurement which means like a consumable or stock item stock item sir okay so it's a create purchase order so purchase uh, sorry purchase requisition then t code is me 51n This is uh, these are the ME fifty one to document type. We have to uh, assign any one document means then we have to properly mention that uh, document type. I have that uh, create a separate document for uh, XP. So I have select that document. Then next um, source de determination. We have to prepare our uh, purchase uh, requis purchase requisition uh, purchasing for a card. Then uh, that uh, vendor and material is uh, details uh, uh, take. Uh, it's uh, take the details from that uh, purchasing for a card then next uh, next uh, material and then item column details uh, i have to mention then this is the purchase requisition screen so uh, uh, in this uh, contact person is mentioned for uh, create indicator so it's r for real time this manual so i have prepared for manual it's uh, automatically we have prepared for, uh, i have we have prepared in uh, M mrp method means this uh, manual is mentioned is automatic so this is the difference then next we i i prepared for uh, purchase requisition then next create rfq so i have prepared rfq based on the uh, purchase requisition so rfq also i have prepared one uh, configuration uh, configuration type it is uh, xn so these are the, the remaining mandatory fields are filled so this uh, showing details this this is for the, uh, we have already give quotation uh, deadline date uh, and also system asking delivery date so we have to give the system, delivery date is uh, uh, after the uh, after, uh, after that uh, Quotation, quotation deadline date. So that's why uh, that's only that system is accepting. Otherwise, it's uh, give error. So I, this is I mentioned deadline is seventh. Uh, then delivery date is tenth. 
then next uh, this is the uh, inside i uh, paste on this uh, uh, pr uh, document to material and uh, required quantity and then this is this uh, screen to we have to select the uh, item details uh, then next screen will open that next screens to we have to mention for collective numbers so we have to ma maintain collective numbers mean how many PO, uh, how many rfq uh, created for that uh, one particular material so that uh, all rfqs uh, comparisons will come at under uh, that uh, collective numbers collective number then next is supplier address so i have to first of all own supplier to mention then create own rfq next uh, i have to mention so this one is a 507 first one first one supplier to create the next one is a next vendor is 508 uh, created then next maintain rfq so t code me 47 so we have to give that prices so uh, separate separate vendors uh, they give uh, different prices then we will we will we have to mention that prices their prices then next comparison to rfq so uh, comparison time we have to give the purchase purchase organization and the collective numbers if you give the collective numbers it means how many uh, how many rfqs are uh, created that uh, under uh, collective number then all details will show that system so i have uh, i have uh, created two rfqs in this collective number so system will show to rfqs only so this is only uh, based on the low price then system will allocate the numbers so i have uh, i i get first one vendor is uh, uh, ranking one so i have to prepare that uh, first one vendor to uh, po so uh, po in uh, me 21 n t code so this process to uh, document type i have to create our own document type x x uh, xp so uh, that uh, xp type to i have prepare uh, 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 po so before uh, that uh, we uh, I, before that uh, um, at, at the uh, pr pre uh, po preparing time uh, i have paste uh, based on document of uh, uh, rfq so 507 is the lowest uh, price for a vendor so that's why i mentioned that uh, vendor the next RFQ number is mentioned in the PO. Then purchase requisition. Purchase requisition also mentioned in the 303. Then next in this uh, below item detail also that mentioned. So uh, these all details once uh, verified. Then next uh, I have to save that uh, document. Then PO um, created. Then uh, once PO created, the next is GRN process. So I done the GRN process. So this is the GRN process completed. Uh, document is okay. All document is where you have to verify. Then material quantity, material and quantity. Quantity is uh, how much quantity you have received. Then uh, that quantity you have to mention. I have uh, ten quantities only prepared. Then I have to mention that quantity. Next, uh, this goods receipt is uh, completed. Then uh, this is the accounting entry overview. So stock account. Um, debited with the transaction key BSX and uh, GRIR account uh, credited with the transaction key WRX. So this is an accounting and review. Then next uh, to check the stock overview. I have, uh, this time I have prepared uh, 10 quantity. Uh, previously stock is, uh, is there in this material, 10 numbers. So totally uh, added to 20 numbers. Uh, that's it. So for example, we have two different company code, two different chat up accounts. Hello, sir. Yeah, so we have a two different company code and two different chat up accounts. Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, so suppose if I want to create, uh, you know, the stock should be posted. Every two company could have two different G. Let's say for 1001 and another old company code for 2001 is the G stock GL. Yes. So if I want, to, but the material code is a single material code. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, the material code is a single material code. The single valuation class also. Okay. So how uh, system will take? So the GL account, 1000 company code, GL account should be 1001. And okay. if the material belongs to 2000, it goes for 2001. So how system will take the GL account for respective GL account? Hmm? Hello, Suresh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. So you understood, right, my question? Uh, I understand, sir. Not understand, sir. Hmm. Sorry. Not understand, sir. 
So one material, two different company code, two different chat up account, two sir. different stock GL. Yeah, yes, sir. But uh, I have prepared four materials, sir. No, no. This is okay. My, I'm asking that uh, you know the Material questions type. related to that. You know the interview perspective. I'm asking you whether you understood the questions or not. No, not understand, sir. So, so when you are going to create the material, so how this BSX is posting? Hmm. So when you are going to do the GRN, so how system is posting your stock account like a BSX? Ah, yes, so sir. This is a GL account. Could you tell me the how the account determinations works? Oh, uh, I have uh, assigned one valuation class. Yeah. Okay. Tell me the step by step the automatic account determination process. How system works? Uh, first of all, that. Uh, Uh, valuation grouping got assigned to valuation grouping got to plant. Okay. And then next uh, assign the valuation classes. Okay. So next uh, config uh, automatic uh, automatic configuration configure automatic posting the OBOIC setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your step by step is okay, correct only. But uh, but single material code, two different. Chat up account and company code. So how system behaves actually? The first step you told, right? Could you repeat the first step? Uh, can uh, def uh, define uh, group, uh, uh, group company code, sir. No group company code. Everything's fine. See now how system is the triggering point is you told the step number one, right? Yes, sir. Step number one you told. Uh, stock account uh, debited with valuation grouping code assigned to chat up account chat up. Yes. Area, right? yes 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 okay so in this case so how many valuation grouping code either one or two will be there one sir so if it is a two different company code two different chat up accounts so it will be a single valuation grouping code or one valuation grouping code so two group, two valuation grouping codes sir okay so i want this actually just uh, configure it okay, okay. Okay. So make it two different company code, uh, you know, already which one, uh, you know, with the same chat up account. I mean, not same, different chat up account. Just extend the material and you try to do the own GRN process. Okay. So then you uh, make it one, uh, you know, uh, small presentation about that, how it works. Hmm? Okay, sir. Then uh, we have to uh, physically change that uh, chat up account, sir. Yeah, chat up accounts will be two different. Take two different company codes. Okay. okay. So two different chat up accounts. Okay. Assign okay. the valuation grouping code also to different valuation grouping code assigned to two different company code. Okay. Right. So then you same material, same valuation class, extend okay. this to company code, try to do GRN with the value, you know, assign the GL account and everything, then check how it's posting and you okay. just, uh, you know, share your thoughts tomorrow. Hmm? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Okay. So then tables, uh, you have uh, Yes. Yes. Okay. So you... So that the interface structure. Okay. Yes, I didn't ask the arc structure, interface structure and all. But anyway, you add it, fine. So I need the master data, the transaction data, if you are added, that is sufficient. Hmm? Okay, okay. So but here, okay. uh, at least you have to specify, okay, company code, what are the field name, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, okay. Field, field name, description. Okay. That is sufficient. Hmm? Okay, okay. So that you have to remember, I remember these fields are required. So when we do the functional specification, Okay. So these fields you have to memorize. Otherwise, no meaning. Just for taking the screenshot is not going to help you. Right? Okay. 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 So plan, plan. Okay. Come down. Then and storage store location. location. Then so when button. you put the input parameter and output also. I told you right. When your input you are passing, what all the input you are passing? No, 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 no. I don't I give, give that, that uh, input material. Input sir. Yeah, that's what you execute the table. No. All the yeah, table yes. you execute. Put some data. Okay, take okay. a screenshot and output and put it what all the fields are mandatory fields. So at least minimum take 5 to 7 fields. Okay, okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these, these fields are important. Okay. So mostly we are going to refer. So for, the, you know, for your first point of view, you can refer these fields. Okay, okay, okay. sir. Okay, okay. Sir. I don't want only the field, you put input parameter and output also. Okay. Okay. And uh, I need, uh, you know, what all the fields. So like that, you prepare all the table. Okay, okay. okay. Material master. I think you already maintain all the information. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thanks.